Hey guys, today I have a brand new Daniel Bergoli to show you. The next Catch Me Outside girl. Catch Me Outside, how about that? You saw it here. Only on Dr. Phil. Man, I feel at this point he's just trying to get everybody's hopes up. Yeah, all you troubled teens having problems with your mamas? Well, do I got the thing for you. Come on down to Papa Dr. Phil. Sit on my lap. Tell me all your problems. And maybe one day you'll be rich and famous. Look at Daniel Bergoli. My relationship with my mom is out of control. Every day we argue, yell at each other. No! Stop! Why are you doing this? I don't care about the police. I can kiss my butt. First of all, this girl is 15. 15! We talking about the police? She fighting with mama? And you can't even fight back? Man, if I was her mama, I'd just be like, okay. I ain't fighting you. You just don't pick fights with girls like that, okay? Me and my mom argue about anything. The biggest stuff, the smallest stuff. I'm not a quiet person. What? Or no! You still are! Get out of here! How do you sound? Girl, how do you sound? Any one of these kids that are just like, no! no! To their parents, I wanna smack them. But I'm a little scared of this girl. She look like she don't how to throw punches. Man, she should be KSI versus Logan Paul, and the winner gets to fight her. That's what she should do. She throw those good punches. I call my mama I call her whore. I talk all the time. My mom punched me in the face when I was 14 because I called her a bitch. Um, I think any good parent would. You don't call your mom a bitch and then act surprised when she punched you in the face. Good on her. I'm gonna say you deserve that. If you would do the same, hit that like button in the face. Okay, maybe not that hard. Mom provokes me. She just does stuff to make me more angry. Get away from me. Don't. Stop and cut. Antagonizing me. Girl can't even say the word. Stop antagonizing me. Antagonizing me. When you attack and antagonize at the same time. Me and my mom put holes in the wall. About a year ago, I went to live with my grandpa in Oregon. While I was there, I got into a lot of fights. I got in a fight with my stepdad two years ago. He was cussing at me and I kicked him in his face. Okay, I'm pretty sure this girl is the problem. You can't take her nowhere. You can't take her to mama's house. You can't take her to grandpa's house. You can't take her to her stepdad. She 50, but she fight like she grown. I called the cops and they said that I assaulted him. They sold my nudes for money. I shot them in my bedroom. I didn't ever post them. I sent them to one single person. Oh! Wow. Well, it looks like she got a lot on her plate. And we ain't talk about food. Like, okay, if I'm making money, then I'll do it. So she saw her pics for money online. Girl, I'm sorry, but you a thotty. I never thought anybody would find out. I'm not taking nude photos of myself anymore. I wrote to Dr. Phil because I want her family to be happy again. I feel like an adult. I know I've been through a lot for a girl my age. <laughs> a lot and they go put these pics when she says that. Cue the thoughtiness. She want her family to be happy again. Girl, you is the problem. Appears to be a highly volatile, combative situation. Why do you think that is? It's mainly me, definitely. I just, when I get mad, like if one little thing makes me mad, I want to keep on going. I want to keep it, like make it more than it really is. Okay, at least she realizes that she's the problem, but now she's just admitting. She's saying, my mom attack and tag antagonizes me. No, she's saying she keeps the fights going. She wants to fight. I know this kind of person. The kind of person that even though when you're done, even though when you slept on it, took a nap on it, the other person is good. You still want to keep it going. Write a song about how angry you are. Become famous. Profit. Sometimes I like arguing. Okay, well, how's that working for you? What, what, where's, where are you? You're making, you have an F average in school. An F average. Girl couldn't even get the D. When you have an F average, that means you're literally not doing sh It's like she got some problems with the police. She got mommy daddy issues. She got school issues. What is she doing? What is she doing with her life? She ain't like the other girls, like out partying, sneaking out, and doing all that. She's just fighting. Why don't she make a career out of it? You're 15 now, so you You'll be 18 soon, which means you'll be an adult. So unless you're looking for an exciting career in the fast food industry, you're not going to have many options in front of you. He mentioned fast food. She like, mm, that don't sound too bad. Fast food industry. <laughs> that don't sound 
too bad. I mean, you wake up at two in the afternoon, right? No, that's not true. That is I used accurate. to. Like, I used to wake up at like two, three, whenever I wanted. Girl, that sounds like my sleep schedule. What are you doing? What are you doing in your spare time? What are you doing all night? Making YouTube videos? Like, this girl is 15. Like, does she not? She doesn't go to school. Does she not go to school? Lately, I've been getting up at like 11, which is still bad. I know. Well, uh, call me a liar for two hours. I mean, come on. Dr. Phil, did you pass math class? Two hours. Two o'clock. Eleven o'clock. That's three hours, Dr. Phil. So relatable. Dr. Phil failed math too. I think she's very precise. I okay. don't know what's funny. I don't know why they're laughing, but. As soon as Shelby said, I don't know why they're laughing. You hear a ha 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 in the audience. Yeah, I don't know why they're laughing, but. Oh my God, bro. I cannot. Okay. That's a distinction without a difference. You're staying No, but up. 11 and 2 o'clock is two different things. That is. That is two different things. Like, me waking up at 11 versus me waking up at 2, I got hella time to do so much more stuff. She right. I got her on that. Dr. Phil, the type of dude to wake up at 6.15 every morning, go for his morning stroll, put a hot towel on his bald head, really open up those hair follicles that will never grow. He just seemed like a very schedule, routine type of guy to me. Okay, and you stay up late playing video games? No, I On the phone, going not out? What always, do you do? I stay up late. What do you do? Sometimes I play video games with my brother, and then other times I'm on my phone. Yeah. Oh, so she a gamer! See, I swear, the only people that stay up to like 6 a.m. every day are like gamers and YouTubers, but mostly gamers, because I don't know what it is. Like, you get on, and then you can play like hours and hours and just not be tired. Oh my god, she living proof. Video games make you. They don't. Growing up, I was kind of like her. I had a lot of issues with my parents. I had anger issues. I played a lot of video games. I most certainly wasn't failing school though. I had all straight A's and B's. And I played video games all night. You say that you have sold nude pics and videos and made like 1800 bucks. Yeah. You broke in and vandalized the school. Yeah. Ew! That is nothing to be proud of. She's 15. That's illegal. Why? Because it was fun, I guess. And being honest, that's what they kept telling me to do, be honest. So. Well, of course, you, yeah, I want you yeah, to be honest. Yeah, it was fun. And me and my friend was like, oh, let's go do it. Do you think it's fun for me to pay the restitution still? No. That I'm and I, you know I feel bad about that. Doing hood rat stuff is not fun. Do people like her like not think about the consequences? Like, oh, nothing you do has consequences. Everything you do has consequences. Like, you want to vandalize the school? Okay, you're gonna either go to jail or have to pay for it. And in this case, her mom is paying for it. We went to the library, pulled out papers, threw them everywhere. We went into the art room. Uh, and I didn't even get this. And with a friend, you started pouring glue everywhere. What? She is straight up hooligan. Who does this? We went to the art room and started pouring glue everywhere. And she's like, Ugh, how'd you get this? Like, how'd you know? Who snitched? I found paint and friend said pour it everywhere. So I did. We started to throw everything around everywhere. This is straight up anarchy. Y'all need to lock these type of people away. Who does this? You want to watch the world burn? You don't have to think about the poor people who got to clean up your mess? Why are you going to go into some art room and just pour glue everywhere? What do these people do to you? I mean, if someone ruined your life, I can personally understand going into the art room, pouring glue on their head. But girl, you doing this for fun because your hood brat friend told you to do it. I, I don't understand. Like, I really don't. Yeah. So you just trash the place. Yeah. Yeah. We just trash the place, Dr. Phil. Gracie may continue to make bad decisions and send pictures out. Gracie is very proud of her booty, and she'll tell you that. Um, I think that, like you said, there's a reason behind it all. Her dad's not present in her life. I think she's searching for that male acceptance. She got daddy issues. So she taking pictures and then selling them to guys on the internet. You know, basically like Patreon. <laughs> but for a lot less money. Then you only got a couple dudes. And I think that she's going about it the wrong way by far, by, of course. She's looking to these men to give her the acceptance that her own dad won't give her. You described her as a hoe. I have called her a hoe. News flash. You a hoe. That ain't the best way to hear it. I mean, she didn't have a relationship with this guy or like really like this guy. He just offered her money for pictures and she was like, hell yeah, I'll do it. So yeah, I'm gonna agree with the mom. You didn't want her to have the phone, but you said I can't take it away because she's bigger and stronger. <laughs> Dr. Phil said it like it is. Like, her mom took her phone away 
like So she got like a prepaid phone from her friend and her mom could not take that one away because she said her daughter is bigger and stronger than her and yeah Man, have you seen her? Why you feed that 15 year old? Cause she looked like, mm, she looked like she could take KSI in one arm, Logan in the other arm, squish them together and break them. I wouldn't try to take anything from her. I, Which Dr. Means Phil, I cannot surrender. take it to the next level anymore. If I don't surrender, it's me and her on the ground rolling around fighting in front of my other children. Wow! Man, her mom crying over it like, oh, can't take this anymore. Y'all gotta chill. Relax. Have That's you lost sense. your compass? Absolutely. With her? Yes. Have you lost your compass? Um, damn it, where's my compass? I don't know what direction I'm facing. North? South? East? West? I don't know anymore. But anyway, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you think all of this is the daughter's fault and she is a problem, make sure you hit that like button in the face. And comment below, what would you do if you were her mom? And make sure you subscribe to the Wolfpack. Oh, I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.